Hey everybody, welcome. What we're going to do is we're going to go over two things. We're going to go over the 3.6 download that I just did. Um, we've got the 3.6 alpha, which is today. And there's a few updates. They're actually good updates. There's not many. And there's only a few worth mentioning. And this is actually a Bag of Pie demo that I made. And so I'm just opening a bunch of files. So like one of the new things is if you go to the recent you'll see that now you can have up to 20 different blend files that you can go back. Previously, it was only 10. And so now you'll have a history of the recent up to 20. And that's actually a big change because some of us are, you know, we've got a lot of stuff going on. And so if you've got multiple iterations of different blend files or you just have multiple projects going on, that's going to be a real blessing. Now the second cool one, I'm just going to switch this off, is simply that now the end panel isn't going to scrunch up on you anymore when you pull this up. Now I haven't done it yet. This is going uh, the first time. And so yeah, there you go. <laughs> That's a cool update, man. That is cool because you can still read all of this now, which is the same context as the other um, bars and panels and there's a few different panels that don't do that obviously still and so that's something i hope they work on so i'm going to go back to three point let's go to a 3.3 .3 and we'll see it's regular modeling boy that took forever to load all right let me do a little horizontal split here doesn't matter what the screen is and see how all those letters disappear right here that's horrible I mean, forget it. That's so annoying. And if we come back over here, you can still see hard surface toolbox right there at the top. Item, tool, view, screencast keys. That's nice. I really like that. I like that. All right, so I've got a list of things here. All right, so if you've been waiting for it, there are some new nodes to talk about real quick. You can now convert a mesh to an S. D F volume. Okay, so if you want to kind of get in here and play around with that, uh, you're more than welcome. These new nodes are pretty easy to find. Why is that connect in there? Let's connect that. There you go. So you can get in there. You've got a voxel. You've got the half band, the amount, size, a few other things. You've got a filter as well to give you some more controls. Uh, you've got a volume to sphere. So if you need a spherical uh, representation of that then you have it you've got a points to sdf volume and an offset sdf volume so if you just come in here and search in the geometry nodes workspace sdf uh, should pop up all the new nodes for that okay and so that's just a quick little overview of that for you thing you're supposed to be able to copy paste renders now so just all right so there's a build patch for this the copy paste and you can kind of test this out if you want i'm going to go ahead and get that all right so i tried to install that and it just ended up being like uh, insanely buggy so i'm not going to continue on with that but that was nice to think about and hopefully they'll be adding that to one of the future builds all right, so thanks for watching, everybody. Smash that subscribe, smash that like on the way out. Don't forget to go pick up Bevel Magic. I've got that absolutely free. So if you install that and you drop in a bevel, then you can put an intensity on that bevel. You can auto shade smooth and then bring your intensity levels up to create different size bevels. And then, of course, with the hard surface toolbox, I'm taking advantage of the carver tool. And, yep, got a little Easter egg in there. <laughs> little hidden Easter egg. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. You can bring your bevels down to some much smaller sizes. And you can get a good look at that. Yeah, it's a pretty nice looking bevel. And then the smallest size works on pretty much every mesh. Anyhow. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see y'all in the next tutorial lesson.